Hello YouTube, today I'll be making a video on an Android Studio problem. So I've encountered this specific problem in Android Studio. So it's, this is what's happening every time I try to run a simple program. So if you get the same message in the output, then you have came to the right place. So I'll show you how to fix that. So open up Android Studio and load a basic application. Next, check your SDK manager and make sure you have this install if you do then you're good after that then <coughs> what you want to find here is make sure the ram of the virtual machine is same thing as the ram of the hacks when you install it however if you install hacks through android studio it will not ask permission or uh ask you to set the right amount of ram you need so you need to do that manually and i'll show you how so open up your uh, file explorer or whatever that is and once that opens up I go to your program files uh... no actually go to users your user then you want to go to a folder called app data, app data many of you might be familiar with it or if you not then then here I'll just show you so this folder is hidden because there's a lot of applications in the data they use when they're running is stored in this folder. So that's why it's hidden and you have to find it through up here. So go to local and once you go to local, hit Android, hit SDK, hit extras, hit Intel, hit hardware accelerated, whatever that is, and hit Intel hacks some Android. So you're just opening up this application and what it's gonna do is it's just gonna ask you uh, and show you the settings of this uh, PAX hardware acceleration program so so once that opens up it might take a while but once that opens up you wanna look at the window that you wanna look at that uh, it's not installing anything, so don't worry about it. Just it just opens up the installer. So once that opens up, you have you want to look at that folder. Yep, oh, here it is. So what you want to do is hit next. Hit change. Notice that this is already installed. So all you have to do is change the variables and the speed that the hacks has received. So it says this hacks works for all times 86 emulators. So and that's how much RAM it gives. 1,024 megabytes or a gig. So make sure you put it on default because I would not put it manually unless you have like high RAM and uh, you don't have anything to do with it. So then. I'll ch I would change it, but here just keep it however it is, and or if you don't have like four gigabytes of RAM, then then you should try to keep it lower. But other than that, make sure you take note of this and exit out of that. And then now go to your Android Studio, and what you want to do is hit the AVD Manager. Now. When you install Android Studio for the first time, you should get this uh, AVD. If you don't, I'll show you how to uninstall it completely and uh, reinstall it in another part of this video. So now hit hit that uh, pencil icon so you can edit it. Should load up. Hit Show Advanced Settings. Scroll down. Make sure the RAM you give for this is the same thing as uh, how much you, how much it's on the Haxum. So in my computer it's just 1,024, and here it's 1,024, and make sure those are equal. So if it's not, what try to keep them exactly the same, and uh, make sure the VM heap you can mess with that lower it if this doesn't work. But make sure you try this, and if it does work, then you're good. So now, when you're done with that, now what you want to do is now run it, and it will work. 
the second part of this video is if you have everything but you, you have installation issues with uh, Android after uninstalling it and you can't get it to run. So what you want to do is first you want to open uninstall a program that it's in control panel if you have uh, Windows 7 but open that up. Once you open that up, the first thing that's usually there is Android Studio. Make sure you make sure you get rid of this completely. And what I mean completely is there's a couple options in um, the uninstaller. It says which of the checkboxes, which of the stuff you want to get rid of. Just check all of them and get rid of that. And once you have done that, there's still some Android left on your computer that's gonna mess. Up. That's gonna stop you from installing it completely right. So what you want to do is you want to go to Program Files. And make sure after uninstalling it that this folder doesn't exist. If it does, just completely delete it. And uh, next, what you want to do is you want to go to uh, users, go to your user, and make sure you delete these these three folders. This one, this one, and this one. Completely, you should never see those again because these contain uh, information about yeah about <coughs> Android that's gonna run on this user. And lastly, you want to go to your <coughs> me. you want to go to your app data, which is basically a uh, a hidden folder. You want to go to that and then hit local. And make sure you delete this folder completely. This this if it's still there, just delete them. Anything with Android here, just delete it. Make sure you don't touch any of these because if you do, your um your programs that are gonna crash other ones and I'm not gonna be responsible for that I'm just saying be careful and uh, destroy this Android and delete it completely so once again go to your local delete the Android folder completely go to your users and uh, delete this these three completely and last but not least go to your program files and if this still there delete this one completely so once you get once you're done with that, then you should be able to install the Android Studio online perfectly fine. So the reason I'm making you uh, do this one more time is because whenever you get Android Studio, the SDK tools are always going to be provided. So what you want you have to get rid of that SDK if you're going to get the bundle again. So get if you get rid of the SDK, the installation will be so much easier it's just gonna be a breeze you don't have to worry about all this so I just wanted to give you uh, that additional information there as well so like and subscribe this video if it helped you and if it did not just put a comment down below and I'll try to reach back to you as soon as possible thanks